Welcome to my channel, subscribe or dale like if you like. Today we will explain about the active principle sephurazine, its side effects, dosage, contraindications, warnings, mechanism of action, pregnancy, breastfeeding and much more. What is sephurazine? Sephurazine is a medicine used for the treatment of various infections such as, tonsillitis, pharyngitis, otitis, sinusitis, cystitis, pyelonephritis and Lyme disease. The trade names of sphuroxima are, Zinit, Sphuracet, Seftin, Zinicef, Kefurox. Mechanism of Action of Sphuroxima Bactericide. Inhibits bacterial cell wall synthesis by binding to target proteins, bacterial lysis. Therapeutic Indications of Sephurazine Treatment of Acute Streptococcal Tonsillitis and Pharyngitis Acute bacterial sinusitis, acute otitis media, acute exacerbation of chronic bronchitis, community acquired pneumonia, cystitis, pyelonephritis, uncomplicated skin and soft tissue infections, intra abdominal infections. Treatment of early Lyme disease, antibiotic prophylaxis in gastrointestinal, including esophageal, orthopedic, cardiovascular, and gynecological surgery including cesarean section, pregnancy and sephurazine. Not enough information in pregnancy. Assess benefit and risk. Breastfeeding with sephurazine. Sephurazine is excreted by breast milk in small amounts. Adverse reactions to therapeutic doses are not expected, although the risk of diarrhea and fungal infections of mucous membranes cannot be excluded. Breastfeeding may have to be stopped because of these effects. The possibility of sensitization should be taken into account. Sephurazine should only be used during breastfeeding after a benefit-risk assessment by the attending physician. Effects on driving ability of sephurazine No studies have been carried out on the effects on the ability to drive or use machinery. However, because this drug can cause dizziness, patients should be advised to check whether their ability is affected before driving or operating machinery. Side Effects and Adverse Reactions of Sephurazine Congida Overgrowth, Neutropenia, Eosinophilia, HB Drop Headache, Dizziness, Diarrhea, Nausea, Abdominal Pain Increase of Hepatic Enzymes Reaction instead of Injection Pathology of Sephurazine Oral, Sephurazine Axetil Adults and children with body weight greater than or equal to 40 kg, acute tonsillitis, pharyngitis, acute bacterial sinusitis, cystitis, pyelonephritis, uncomplicated skin and soft tissue infections, 250 mg every 12 hours, acute otitis media, exacerbation of chronic bronchitis, Lyme disease, 500 mg every 12 hours. Children with body weight under 40 kg. Acute tonsillitis, pharyngitis, acute bacterial sinusitis, 10 mg slash kg, 2 times a day, maximum 250 mg slash day, cystitis, pyelonephritis, uncomplicated skin and soft tissue infections, Lyme disease, children 2 years or older with rutitis media or in case of more severe infections, 15 mg slash kg, 2 times a day. Maximum 500 mg slash day. Normal treatment duration, 5 to 10 days. In Lyme disease 10 to 21 days. Intravenous slash intramuscular injection or intravenous infusion, sephurazine sodium. Adults and children over 40 kg body weight, community acquired pneumonia, acute exacerbation of chronic bronchitis, soft tissue and intra-abdominal infections. 750 mg every 8 hours, IMOR 4, complicated urinary tract infections, 1500 mg every 8 hours, IMOR 4, severe infections, 750 mg every 6 hours or 1, 500 mg every 8 hours, 4 round, surgical prophylaxis for gastrointestinal, gynecological, including cesarean, and orthopedic surgery. 1,500 mg with induction of anesthesia, may be supplemented by two doses of 750 mg, in route, at 8 and 16 hours, surgical prophylaxis for cardiovascular and esophageal operations, 
1,500 mg with induction of anesthesia plus 750 mg every 8 hours, in route, for the next 24 hours. Children under 40 kg body weight and over 3 weeks, community acquired pneumonia, complicated urinary tract, soft tissue and intra-abdominal infections, 30 to 100 mg slash kg slash day, 4, in 3 to 4 doses. 60 mg slash kg slash day is sufficient for most infections, children under 40 kg body weight and less than 3 weeks, community acquired pneumonia, complicated urinary tract, soft tissue and intra-abdominal infections, 30 to 100 mg slash kg slash day, 4, in 2 to 3 doses. Mode of administration of sulfurazine. Oral administration should be done just after meals. Contraindications of sephurazine Hypersensitivity to sephurazine or other cephalosporin antibiotic History of severe hypersensitivity to any other beta-lactam antibacterial, penicillins, monobactam and carbapenem Warnings and precautions with sephurazine Allergy to penicillins or other sharp S lactams If allergy occurs, discontinue Kidney failure, adjust dosage Liver failure Risk of superinfection by congida and other non-sensitive microorganisms and prolonged treatment, pseudomembranous colitis and nephrotoxicity associated with potent diuretic or aminoglycoside. Jers Kerxheimer reaction observed after treatment for a Lyme disease. It is not suitable for treatment of intra-abdominal infections caused by gram non-fermenting bacteria. No experience in children under 3 months. Injectable forms should only be used by intravenous or intramuscular route and not intracameral. Severe cases of eye reactions such as macular edema, retinal edema, retinal detachment, retinal toxicity, visual disturbances, reduced visual acuity, blurred vision, corneal opacity and corneal edema have been reported after intracameral use of sodium sulfurazine vials for which intracameral use is not approved. Liver failure with sulfurazine Caution. Renal failure with sephurazine. Caution. Adjust dose. Sephurazine interactions. Nephrotoxicity with aminoglycosides, furosemide, monitor renal function. Oral absorption decreased by antacids. Renal tubular secretion reduced by probenicid. Decreased reabsorption of estrogens, reduced efficacy of oral contraceptives.